let us go and learn about the Kotlin data type. So what is a data type? Data type or a basic data type we can refer to a type and also a size of a data associated with the variables. So we can see here if you see that our data type is refers to a type type which is a data type and a size of a what kind what is the size of that data associated with a variable and a function. So the data type is used for declaration of memory location declaration of memory location of a variable which determines the features of a data. So when we create or declare a variable, we create some kind of data type for it. Let's say we create an integer data type. So we have a type of integer and the size of that integer variable. So what is the size of that or a range of that size and range of that data type? So the Kotlin built-in data type are categorized as the following different categories. So there are built-in, Kotlin has some built-in data types that uh, we can make use of. So first of all, it's a numbers that we need to learn about, numbers data type, and the character data types, Boolean data type, arrays, and string. First of all, we'll go and learn about the numbers data type in our Kotlin. Then we will go further with other kind of data types. So what is a numbers data type? So number type of data are those which hold only numbers. So numbers type of a data type is a, which holds only a number type of a data variable. So only numbers means like 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. So that is a numbers type. In further categorized, it is further categorized into a different integer. Uh, we have an integer and a floating point. So the first that we need to learn about is a number numbers type or a number data type in a Kotlin and which can have hold only a numbers, right? And it has ca been categorized to two types. One is an integer. So one is integer and number two is floating point. So uh, let's go and see the data type over here. Data type. Here you can see the bit or bit width or a size and the range of the data type. So first we need to learn about the byte data type and this byte data type has of 8 bits and you can see the range which is minus 128 to 127 so range is a value that it can hold so it can hold from value from minus 128 to 128 plus 127 and third which is of a 16 bit which is the double the size of the byte and we have a range of 32,768 minus, minus 32,000, right? And to the positive 32,767. And we have an integer data type, which has which is a 32 bit, which is, if you notice, is the double the size of the sort. And you can see the range is uh, quite huge. I think some somewhere that like at the 2 billion. And here we have a uh, next is a long. After int, we have a long and which is of 64 bit. And 64 bit double the size of the integer. And the range you can see it can hold a very large amount of data or it can hold a very large amount of uh, data if you can see. And similarly, we have for a float which is a floating point. Floating point, uh, we have two special data type, which is a float and a decimal. So float is a 32 bit. And if you see that it's holding a data of data range from here. And if you notice, we have something special over here, which is a dot. So dot is a decimal point. So it can hold a decimal value. So 1.10 or 5.10. 20 so this kind of value can be hold with the floating that are float data type and the last one that we have over here is a double which is of the 64 bit which is the double the size of the float and you can see it has a very large amount of data it can hold so float and the double these two is a special data type with a numbers that can hold a decimal point so if we can if you want to make use of a decimal point like where it will be holding your data will be holding a decimal value then we can make use of either float or a double so depending on our requirement 
So just make sure that we have a byte, short, in, long, float, and a double. So the byte is of 8 bits, short is of 16 bit, in is of 32 bits, long is of 64 bits, float is 32 bit again, and double is a 64 bit. So higher the bit rate, uh, you can see the bit width is the higher. If it is higher, that means it is consuming more memory. So whenever it, it says that 8 bits is consuming a very less memory co compared to the sort and the sort is holding a co consuming a less memory compared to integer and the integer is holding or consuming a less memory compared to the long and similarly the float is holding or consuming a less memory than a double so let's say you just want to take a hold the value of 1 to 100 then we can make use of byte we don't have to make use of a integer. So integer you can see which is a which is holding of a 32 bits or a 4 byte. 32 bit or a 4 byte. That is holding a quite huge, uh, huge memory of amount of memory compared to the byte. So let's say if you want to just make use of a value that is ranging between 100 minus 128 to 127, then why not we make use of byte so higher the you take like let's say higher the data type that you take it is consuming more memory so depending on if you want to build a memory efficient apps then we have to con consider about the data type too so it's very important to learn about the data type and what kind of data you will be using in your application if you want if you want to be a very memory efficient, then we have to learn about the data type properly. So let's go and see in a practical way. In the next lecture, we'll be covering up a byte data type in our first lesson about the Kotlin data type. So let's meet up in the next lecture.